I never had such a reading experience before. Hello and welcome back to Say More, Express Yourself. I'm Dhanashree and I'm back on Read More with another interesting book. So, let's begin. Certain emotions are very well expressed or rather very well understood through body language cues. Say a person is anxious or has lot of scary or unrelated thoughts running on his mind or say if the person is very impatient and has roller coaster of thoughts just playing around his mind, you understand it when you see the person. You have the reference of his body language like his voice or the speed in which he is talking for reference. So how can a writer make a reader experience all these emotions through his words? And if you think it is impossible, you haven't read books by Paula Hawkins. And this is the kind of experience she gives you through her book, The Girl on the Train, a global bestseller for a reason. So the plot is set in London and it begins by the narration of Rachel, who is a young girl and is telling us about her day-to-day -day life, the things she observes and her life experiences. The major part of her day is travelling by the train. And uh, Rachel has very bad past experiences and has become an alcoholic and she has also lost her job because of it. So every day, Rachel watches a couple from the train who happens to live in the same building that was her previous home. And she has her own imagination about the couple, like what their names would be, uh, what, what, what would be their relationship with each other, what their jobs would be, etc. And one day, something happens in the life of the couple and somehow Rachel happens to know what is at the root of it. So what does she exactly know? And will anybody believe her given that she is just a random girl on the train? And will she really be able to help the couple? You have to read the book to find it out. You will get to know the whole story through the narration of three women. They are uh, Rachel, Megan who is the lady Rachel watches from the train and Anna who is uh, Rachel's ex-husband's wife. And all these women narrate the whole incidences through their perspective and take the story forward. And they also give you flashbacks of their life. The way in which Paula Hawkins has given meticulous details and has explained the state of mind of different characters is just mind-blowing. You not only see the person in front of your eyes, but also feel and understand what the person is going through. And you also experience the kind of thrill and anxiety, the one which you experience while watching a thriller movie, which makes you sit on the edge of your seat. I couldn't wait to finish one page and turn to the next one. I could actually imagine some kind of background music of my own apt for that particular scene. I never had such a reading experience before. I would highly recommend you to read this book for an amazing thriller story and moreover a truly unique reading experience. Also I might want to caution you that this book might get a little depressing in between but not for a long time. So that's all for this book. If you have already read it, please let me know how was your experience in the comments below. I'll see you soon with another interesting book. So if you haven't subscribed to Say More already, please do it. Thank you.